God bless everybody from around the country, around the world here at Shabbat Global Ministries headquarters. We thank God for the opportunity to be able to broadcast. I'm going to be teaching today. We had a lot of snow here, and we also know that out in on the East Coast, the Spirit of Faith Christian Outreach um, got a got a message from uh, Apostle uh, Mike Freeman this morning that they're closing out their services today, but they will resume next week. And uh, so we're blessed to be able to be in the house of God, to be able to share the Word of God with you. We've had an exciting time with our worship leader uh, this morning, and we I tell you, it's such a powerful time to be alive. And I know that many of you have been watching and looking and, and seeking. Um, even uh, NFL football player's father has been tuning in, and we want to say thank you for tuning Amen. in. Amen. Uh, so many people, we thank God for the opportunity to be able to get revelation from heaven and, and spread it throughout the whole world. And uh, this morning, I want to talk to you, and I think many of you have seen the banner uh, that went up last night on supernatural progress, the richest experience of God's presence. The richest, I want to have the richest experience of God's presence. My God. Amen. Can you imagine um, having God's presence living on the inside of you. Amen. What can the devil do to you? Absolutely nothing. He ends up being ashes under your feet. And every time he tries to knock you down, he lifts you up. And I'm just so happy that we serve a God that causes us to always have victory over everything. Amen and amen. amen. The God we serve has called us to bring in divine increase. I want to talk about divine increase, not just increase, but the God kind of increase amen. into the earth. Uh, Adam was to spread. Adam was to spread and increase paradise throughout the earth. The earth. But he avoided his assignment. Through disobeying God, we avoid our assignments. Good God Almighty. I think one of the biggest setbacks that we face as a nation is the lack of focus. Amen. We lose focus. Other things get us off of the focus of God. Get us out off of the word of God and what God says. Um, and, um, and we have lacked the knowledge and we're not being taught enough who we are and what we have in Christ. My God, our Messiah. We have also missed the timing of God. I'm going to deal with this this morning yeah. through theology, through religious dogma. But go back to the set time of God's favor. We're going to look at the set time of God's favor in Psalms 102. It was a prophetic word for this time. But because time has changed and man has changed time. Amen and, and amen. We're in the kingdom age now. Good yeah, God Almighty. Yeah. Somebody said we're in the kingdom age. Yeah. Amen. If the kingdom of a, if the kingdom of God is within you, like Jesus said, then once the kingdom is in you, now you got to be born again. You can't just read it and say I'm I'm, I'm I'm a kingdom citizen. No, you have to be born again. You have to be born of water and the Spirit of God, amen, in order to enter into that kingdom. Amen and amen. And so um, we want to look at Psalms 102 and verse number 13 and the changing of the time in Daniel 7 and verse number 25. Now, y'all all right? Amen. Come on, y'all all right? Amen. Come on, say it now. Say, I'm all right. I'm all right. Amen. In Psalms 102 and verse number 13, it says, you will arise. He's prophetically talking now. Dan, David is prophetically giving a word now. He said, you will arise and have mercy upon Zion. Zion today are the people of God, the kingdom citizens of God. And all right, listen, for the time to favor her, my God, we're living in the time of favor. If you are a child of God, this is your time of favor. That means God himself has a, will arise and send people into your life. Amen. My God, my God, you don't give yourself favor. Somebody comes and God brings them into your life to show you favor. Yes, yes. Uh, we have a wonderful uh, assistant here, uh, Minister Tracy Keith. 
and God has given us this minister, and he does so much in here. Amen. I mean, we have remodeled the basement, getting ready for uh, Christian educational classes. I mean, he has done such a, of course, I helped him. I got to put myself in that. Amen. He didn't do it all by himself. I helped him out some, y'all. Amen and amen. But, 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 but God has given us a people, and he will give you people who will use their time. They will give you their time, yeah. good God Almighty. They will use their influence to help you. If they know somebody, if they know somebody, you know, uh, they will introduce you to them. Oh, my God, somebody get ready to get an introduction this week. Amen. 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 So God, he said this. He said, for the time to favor her, her is the bride of Christ. Amen. Her are those who are in the kingdom of God. For the time to favor her, listen to this, the set time is come. Listen to this. The set time is come. Yeah. That's boy, the devil hate to hear that. Because whatever God, whenever the devil knows that you have been favored, whenever the devil knows that you understand about time, amen. And when he talks about the set time is come. And you know how you set your time on your own clock. To, to set your time at 9 o'clock at night, to set your time at, at uh, 10 o'clock at night, and you set it forward to get up at 5, to get up at 6, to get up at 7, and so you're prophetically doing that because you're setting it back here to get up over there. Yeah, yeah. And so God is saying, you've been down, you've been out, but I had a set time for you to get up, and I've set the time for you to walk into favor. Amen. This is your time of Favor. Somebody say amen. amen. Somebody say this is my time is a favor. Now to show you, listen to me, because I'm going to cover some of this on Thursday night. To show you that this was prophetic, that this was for another day and another time, stay in Psalms 102 and look at verse number 18 in the New International Version. I'm going to read it so that you would know who this was written for. Let this be written for a future generation. Come on, talk back to yeah, me. Yeah. Listen to me. It's in the Bible if you ain't throwing the page out. Listen. Let this be written for a future generation. Who is it written for, y'all? A future yeah. generation. Wait a minute, wait a minute. The time to favor her, yet the set time has come. But who was it written for? For this was written for a future generation. God says through the, through the prophet David, Psalms 102, 18, let this be written for a future generation that are people not yet created may praise God. What's going to cause them to praise God? When they wake up and realize that they are the people yeah. that David wrote about way back before they were even created. Way I mean, look, I feel like shouting right now Amen. because I realized yeah. that the prophecy was about us. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. yeah. Now, if you ain't getting this, something wrong. Mm -hmm. That's why it is worth repeating. Mm -hmm. For those of you who are just coming on you need to come back and listen to this again. We're going to put this on Watch Party on Facebook. We're going to yeah. put it on our website yeah. because this is a lesson and a revelation that you got to get and understand that you are the people that was written of. Amen. Because he said before you entered into your mother's womb, God said, I knew you. I ordained you. Yeah. I prepared you for the yeah. times such as this. Listen to this. We're talking about the set time of God's favor and who it was written about. Y'all all right? Amen. Y'all got to stay with me today. Amen. Because we're going somewhere yes. that we ain't been before. Amen. Amen. We get an understanding of things. Amen. Now, I can teach all I want to. I can teach forever. But you got to say, yes, That's me. Amen. I receive. Yeah. This is my set time yeah. of God's favor. God is going to send me somebody. God is going to put angels on assignment in my life in yeah. human form. God is going to send somebody 
who's going to use their influence to help me get to the next level of God's plan for my life. He always sent you somebody. Amen, amen and amen. amen. Can I get amen? amen? We have business owners here, yeah. but they were, but my wife was sent to them amen. to help them with their business. Amen. amen. And she still helps them sometimes yeah. with their business when amen. they have a question. Amen. God will always send you somebody. Amen. Only thing you got to do is ask him. Amen. You say, Lord, you know he got plenty of angels yeah. in human form. Yeah. Amen. And he said, Lord, send me an angel. Yeah. I need one to help me with this. And God got plenty of them, yes. millions of them. And he'll send you somebody into your life. I don't care if it's to fix your car, to fix your roof, to fix your house. Come on. Amen. I mean, he'll send people, ask and you shall receive. Amen. Come on. Amen. Seek and you shall find. Amen. Knock and the door shall be open. And the Bible said, you have not because you yes, ask not. not. Yes. Don't even try to figure it out yourself. Yes. God got somebody that can figure it out for you. Yes. Amen. It's called favor. Come back to me. Yeah. It's called favor. So let's go back. I want y'all to get this. Y'all all right? I want you to hear me. I want you to write it down. I want you to get this in your spirit. In Psalms 102 and verse number 13, it was a prophecy. It was a prophetic promise for you and me in this time. Amen. But then, you know, with the church, well, that's the Old Testament. We're not in the Old Testament. We're in the New Testament. You wouldn't be in the New Testament if it wasn't the Old Testament. Amen. You wouldn't even know that that was speaking prophetically about you and your time. Oh, the prophets write like that. It's just like Isaiah said, for unto us a child is born. The child wasn't born yet. Unto us a son is given. The son wasn't given yet. And the government will appear upon his shoulders. That had Two, verse number 13. I hope y'all all right down there in Amen. Mississippi, Jackson, Mississippi. I hope y'all all right down there. Up in Canada, I know y'all all right up Jackson. there. And I pray that y'all are all right right here in Shabbat Global Amen. Ministry Headquarters in Kankakee, Illinois. I'm going to teach it like I know it. Amen. Amen. In Psalms 102 and verse number 13. King James, you will arise and have mercy upon Zion, your people. For the time to favor her, the set time, yeah, the set time is come. All right, now, who was this written for? Psalms 102, verse number 18. It says it like this in the NIV. Let this be written for a future generation. Who was it written for? A future generation. Where are you at now? You're in that future. Amen. 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 Your future is right now. Let this be written, what I just read, let this be written for a future generation that a people not yet created may praise the Lord. Yes. They're going to praise and jump because they say, that's us. Yes. Amen. They find, look, you should be able to find yourself in the Bible. Amen. You should have a word from God that, yeah. that wraps around you, good God Almighty. Yeah. Now, the devil knew that a time was coming that a people would be created that would praise God. So guess what he tried to do? He tried to change the set time. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Amen and amen. 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 Have you ever sat your clock and somebody came and changed it and didn't tell you? Yeah. And you end up getting up late. You say, well, who changed the time? Yeah. Amen and amen. Have you ever did not set your clock forward and got up early? Didn't set your clock back and you got up late? Come on, because somebody changed the time. Yeah. We go through Eastern Standard Time, Daylight Saving Time. And if you don't set your clock you're going to either get up late or you're going to get up early. Amen. 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 So what the devil did, he knew through prophecy that the time of God's favor, good God, he knew that the Messiah was coming, come on, because the prophet foretold it. Amen. Amen. And so what he said, if I could just change the set time, yes. they'll be thrown off. Yes. A lot of our religious churches and a lot of our religious organizations are not in sync with the time. Can I get amen? amen. 
Amen. Because they still want that old time religion. And God already told us, behold, I do a new thing. Yes. Shall you not know it? Shall I not make a way in the wilderness? Come on, and rivers in the desert? Yes. So God is doing a new thing. So in order to do a new thing, there must be new revelation from God. Yes. So that we can be, yes. uh, y'all all right? Yes. I mean, you have to get your computer upgraded sometime. Amen. Come on, you have to do your phone upgrades. Yes. Or else your phone won't work like somebody else is working. Because everything has to have an upgrade. Yes. Come on. Yes. And, our, and our teaching has to be upgraded. Yes. You know, we can't teach. No, no, I'm not going to teach you somebody to slap you on one cheek, turn the other one. I'm going to say, no, it's a time for that. This ain't the time to be turning the other cheek. This is the time to uh, this is the time to let the cheek, let the other person know that you don't do that. You know, no, no. Some of y'all would say, no, I'm not going to turn the other cheek. I'm going to turn their other cheek with my fist. <laughs> Lord, help us, Jesus. Help us, Jesus. My wife said, Lord, help that brother up there. <laughs> You know, <laughs> they say if you take your if you take your coat, give me your pants. Mm -hmm. That's like somebody coming to my house this time to move out or move it in. Mm -hmm. No, it ain't that time. Amen. That's amen. that old time religion. Yeah. Amen and amen. No, we're not doing that. No, we're fighting the good fight of faith now. Yeah. Yeah. We're laying hold on eternal life. We ain't letting it go. Come on, come on. This is a time when Satan is to be ashes under our feet, and we're going to help him get under our feet Amen. today through the word of God. Amen. So we know that there's a set time, because, and it was written for a generation that was not yet created, that a people not yet created may praise the God, but may praise God. But in Daniel chapter 7, and verse number 25, he changed the set time, and I'm going to show you why he changed the set time. I'm not going to be long, but I want to get to this. He says, look, I got to change the set time and stop this. The devil said, wait a minute. They, if these people are going to wake up, I got to change the set time. So what he would do, he would speak against everything that God tells you. Oh, my God. Yeah. He said, God didn't mean that. God ain't going to happen. God didn't go, no, no, God didn't mean it like that. God didn't mean it like that. He said, I will, he said, when God said, I will dwell in you and I will walk in you, somebody said, well, he didn't really mean that. You know, God ain't going to dwell in you. You know, you just, you know, your sin is like filthy rags. You know, uh -uh, forget that. I'm the righteousness of God in Christ. I am the righteousness yeah. of God. Of my, every week. Every week. We got to get, we got to get, a, turn me on right here. Gerard, turn me on right here. Amen and amen. Turn me on right here. Amen. You know what? This devil knows <laughs> that yeah, this word is yeah. beating him all upside his yeah. head. Amen. And so the battery, this is a Duracell. It ain't supposed to be going out like that. A brand new Duracell gone out. Now, you know, they ain't nothing but the devil. Amen. amen. That's all right. But we got back up. We got, my wife said we got back up. Amen. Amen. Ain't nothing like having backup. Amen and amen. So the devil knew. He knew. See, your time has come. Your time ain't coming. Your time is come. All you got to have is now faith is. You all you need is a title D. Come on, amen. Faith is the title D to what God has promised us. So the devil chose to try to change the set time. That we talked about in, in, in Psalms 102 and verse number 13. Daniel 7 and 25 in the New International Version. He will speak against the Most High and oppress the holy people and try to change the set time. He will try to change the set time. He's trying to prolong the time that God had set. That's why when he heard about Jesus being born or going to be born in Bethlehem, they sent out the soldiers to kill all the yeah. boy babies. Amen. Why did they want to kill all the boy babies? Because among them would be Jesus. Yeah. And he wanted to try to stop what God had already planned. But he missed it. Can I get amen? Amen. Amen. So Daniel 7.25 said he will speak against the Most High and oppress his holy people and try to change the set time and the laws. These are laws of faith. He, will, he don't want you to ever come and understand that faith is a law. 
Good God Almighty. If you have faith the size of a grain of mustard seed, you can speak to the mountain and command the mountain to be removed yeah. and nothing will be impossible to you. He don't want you to understand that. I have friends that understood that. And they are now doing very well. Amen. Amen. So the holy people, he said, will be delivered into his hands for a time. Uh, to what time? Until Messiah comes. Amen. Are y'all alright? Amen. Amen. The devil was trying to keep us from the knowledge of God. Amen and amen. See, let me tell you why he wanted to change the time. And I'm going to show you this. I ain't going to be long. We're going to come back on Thursday night. We're going to continue it. I got to stay with this for a while. I'm going to be Amen. I'm going to be expanding this all the way to February the 28th. I'm going to add on, add on, yeah. add on. So you're going to have to follow me. Amen. Follow me as I follow the word of God. Amen. So in Daniel, now let me show you why he wanted to change the set time. And he wanted to change the set time because also in that book is a prophecy concerning the Messiah. In Daniel 7 and verse number 14, in the NIV version, it says, he was given authority. We're talking about Jesus here. See, the devil wanted to change the set time because here's the Messiah now. He was given authority, glory, and sovereign power. All nations and peoples of every language worshipped him. His dominion is an everlasting dominion that will not pass away. And his kingdom, they say, that's me there. That's me, that's me. And his kingdom, that's me, is one that will never be destroyed. The reason why the devil wanted to stop the set time of God's favor was because he knew, he saw that this pertained to the Messiah and what he was given before the Messiah even came and was born of a virgin, he was given authority, glory, and sovereign power. All nations and people of every language worshipped him. His dominion is an everlasting dominion that will not pass away, and his kingdom, say I am his kingdom, am his king. is one that will never be destroyed. Said his kingdom is one that will never be destroyed. Now, Y'all all right? Amen. Sister Latrice, this Messiah that is mentioned in Daniel 7, 14, and all of the things that he was given, authority, glory, sovereign power, come on, it's going to be turned over to you yes. and me. Amen. See, everything that Jesus has and has become that's why he said, the works that I do, yeah. shall you do. Amen. Amen. And Amen. greater works than these yeah. shall you do. Amen. He said, I'm turning it over to you now. Yeah. Because I go to the Father. Yeah. So, let, so watch this now. So everything, the authority, the glory, amen, John, if you want to look at John 17 and 22, Jesus, when he was praying the Lord's Prayer, he said, and the glory which you have given to me, I've given to them. See, he come to give you what God gave yeah, him. Yeah. Good God, Jesus, everything that I am, I created you to be able to say it, Lord. Jesus said, everything that I am, I created <laughs> you amen, to amen. Be. Amen. Y'all remember that message? Yeah. Everything. Jesus said, everything that I am, I created you to be. Yeah. So if I got glory, I'm giving you, you the glory. Yeah. Amen. 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 Uh, uh, Isaiah uh, chapter number 60 says, Arise and shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. And gross darkness shall cover the earth, and gross darkness the people, but his glory shall be seen upon you. Yeah. So you got the yeah. glory. Amen and amen. And the reason why some people can't stand you is because they see the glory of God yes. on you yes. that they don't see on right. them. Amen. Right. It's all about the glory. Amen. It's the presence of God. It's God's presence. His supernatural presence in you. Thank you Lord. Can't kill Abel over that. That's right. Yeah. Amen. Because he saw something in Abel, and that was his brother, his blood brother. Mm -hmm. Came up. He saw something in him that he wished that he had, so he killed. Amen. And people will try to kill you over the glory that they see on your life. Are y'all alright? I don't mean literally kill you. 
They may try to assassinate your character. Yes. Amen. Amen. Assassinate and kill your vision. Yeah. Discourage you. Yeah. You'll make you yeah. feel like you ain't worth it. Yeah. And you worth more than it. You are it. Amen. Good God Almighty. Amen and amen. And so, listen to this. We saw the set time of God's favor. We saw that it was for people who were not yet created. Then we see that the devil tried to change the set time. Then we see what was given to the Messiah in Daniel 7 and 14. And now he's going to hand over to us his sovereign authority. My God, I feel like dancing. Amen. He's going to hand over to us his sovereign authority. And it's in the Bible. If you ain't torn the page out in Daniel chapter 7 and verse number 27 in the New International Version. Listen to this. Then the sovereignty, power, and greatness of all the kingdoms under the heavens will be handed over to the holy people of the Most High. Somebody tell me what is a handover? Amen. He give it. He gonna give it over to the the people. Yeah. Amen. And we so busy not keeping focus, not being planted. Amen. Not having our ears open to yeah. truth that we're missing out on the handover. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He handed it over to me. Yeah. He handed it over to you. What did he hand over to you? Sovereignty. Yeah. Yeah. Power and greatness. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. He hand we are supposed to be great yeah. because yeah. our father Abraham was promised you will be a great nation. Yeah. Yeah. And kings will come out yeah. of here. Yeah. Good yeah. God Almighty. Yeah. We are supposed to be great. One thing that caught my attention about Muhammad Ali was I am the greatest. Yeah. Good God Almighty. Yeah. Ali believed that he was a yeah. great one. Yeah. The greatest heavyweight ever lived. He said I float like a butterfly and sting yeah. like a bee. Yeah. Rumble. <laughs> he said rumble bad man rumble. Yes. And he is. And he was. Yeah. Yes. Good God Almighty. I'm telling people all the time. I said, they didn't see Ali when he was urinating blood during his training camp. Amen. They didn't see Ali when he got knocked down during his training camp. When they saw Ali, Ali had on silk trunk, silk robe yeah. with Muhammad Ali on the back, white leather boots, and red tassels. Yeah. That's the Ali we saw, but we didn't see what he had to go through Amen. to become a champion. Yes, we are so blessed. Yes. People don't know what we've been through. Yes. People don't know all the hell we had to face, the demons we had to face, yes. the, the, the people that try to discourage us, the people that try to stop us. They don't see that. No. They only see the glory. I was listening to um, yes. I listened to a lot of people. I was listening to a certain preacher. And he said that when God showed him something to go after, he said the people that was with him in the storefront didn't want to go into the bigger place. Amen. So they didn't go. So he had a meeting with them. He said, then, uh, aren't y'all supposed to be with me over here? And, and they said, well, we, we don't feel God is leading us to do that. He said, but I'm your leader. Yeah. He said, yeah, but we don't feel God in this. Amen and amen. And so he didn't become discouraged. He said most of his support came from outside of the people. Amen. Yeah. And somebody saw him. I have a friend that was in the storefront, and a man walked in in coveralls and plaid shirt and said, the Lord told me to give you $100,000 to put you on television. He said, oh, another, another madman don't come up in here. He said, the Lord going to give him. He got on coveralls and a plaid shirt. And, and, and some boots look like they got mud on them. And he going to come walking up here in my storefront. About the Lord told me to give you $100,000 to put you on TV. He said, but he thought about it. He said, next week I'll be back with a cashier's Amen. check. And I'm going to give you that $100,000 the Lord told me to give you. And he said that. He said he thought about it that Saturday night. He said, well, maybe I just need to go. You know, because you know, I know he ain't going to come, but I just need to go. He said he started a service and... You know, he had about 20 people in the service, and he said that the, he said he looked up and the guy was coming in with the same plaid shirt on, same coveralls, same boots. 
And he said, I got that hundred thousand dollars I told amen. you. See, amen. that's called favor, y'all. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. amen. Amen and amen. amen. That's called favor. Amen. That's somebody that, 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 that God sent and influenced that person yeah. and said, I'm going to give you. A, and that man went on TV and he grew to 8,000 people over a number amen. of years. He built a big building. Come on, good God of mine. And, and, and he took off. He was hosting TV in. He was on. He had a book that sold a million copies, but it started with favor. Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. That's greatness. That's the kind of favor. That's the kind of favor that the people that are watching us by internet, on Facebook Live, on our website, that's the kind of favor that you're listening to. God is going to send somebody into your life, Amen. an angel in human form, yes. that's going to say, yes. I got what you need. Come on, let's get this thing amen. done. Good yes. God Almighty. Amen. amen and amen. I know. Amen. I know amen. God is linking us with people like yes. that. Amen. Good God Almighty. He's linking us up. Yes. But this devil tried to change the set time. Telling you it didn't happen. It ain't going to happen. It is going to happen if we stay focused. Amen. It is going to happen if we don't lose faith. Good God Almighty. And he's turning everything over that the Messiah was given. He's turning it over to us. Read it again. Daniel 7, 27. Then the sovereignty, the power, the greatness of all the kingdoms under the whole heaven will be handed over. To the holy people of the yeah, Most High. Right, His yeah. kingdom will be an everlasting kingdom. And all rulers will worship and obey Him. Yeah. The author. He is the author and the finisher of our faith. Yes, he is. Listen to this. Every place that God plants you uh -huh. becomes your jurisdiction. Yeah. All right, amen. That's why if you want something. Bad enough. Sometimes you got to go out to it and walk on it Amen. and claim it Amen. and believe it. Yeah. If it's a car, you got yeah. to go and drive it. Yeah. You may not have a dime for that car yet, but if you don't go and drive it and look at it and lay hands on it and say it's mine, you won't get it. Amen. 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 That's supernatural. Yeah. That's right. That ain't that. You don't have to have money to get anything. You got to have faith. Yeah. You got to have vision. Yeah. Come on. You got to have faith. And if you have enough faith, God said nothing will be impossible to you. Who are you? That's the word. Who are you? Well, let me show you who you are. Because he said, I'm turning it all over to you. In Matthew chapter number 5, in verse number 13, in verse number 14, let's look at who are you. Let me tell you real quick. You are salt and you are light. Amen. Right. Amen. I'm going to say that again, boy. Amen. amen and amen. You are the spice of life. You are yeah. salt and you are light. In Matthew 5 and 13, it says, you are the salt of the earth. My God, yeah. you give it flavor. Yeah. You give it taste. Yeah. Good God Almighty, you, you preserve everything because you are salt. Good God Almighty, amen and amen. He said, you are the salt of the earth. He said, but if the salt has lost its saltness, how can it be salty again? Let me tell you, some of y'all had lost your salt. Some of y'all had lost your flavor. Some of y'all had lost your faith. But the word of God will re-salt yeah. you again. Right. Yeah. It'll make you stronger than you were before. Amen. Good man. How can it be made salty again? It is no longer good for nothing except to be thrown and trampled on the feet. Then he says in verse 14, you are the light of the world. Yeah. He didn't say you are the light of the church. Can I get amen, y'all? And people want to be the light of the church. You're not the light of the church. We are supposed to be the light of the world. Yes, yes. We're supposed to be bringing truth to the world. Mm -hmm. People should look at us and see Jesus. See that greatness. See that faith. The God kind of faith. When the Bible says have faith in God, it's saying have God's faith. Have the God kind of faith. Amen. Decree a thing as yeah. Job 22 and 28 tells us. You will also decree things. Yes. And it shall be established yeah. unto you. And the light of God's favor will shine upon your way. And he says in, John, in Matthew 5 and 14. You are the light of the world. He said 
A town built on a hill cannot be hid. Can nobody hide you? You are the light of the world. You give light, truth, energy, power. Without the light of the sun, the earth would not turn. The universe would not spin. You are the light of the world. You make things happen. Yeah. If you don't make things happen, nothing will Amen. happen. Amen. You don't have to wait on something to happen. Hey Amen. Your faith is the title D to make That's things right. happen. Yeah. You don't have to sit yeah. back and wait on the Lord. The Lord has given you everything that you need to speak it until you see it. God Almighty. It's going to happen supernaturally. It ain't going to happen the way people think it's going to happen. Sometimes it don't even happen the way you think it's going to happen. But I guarantee you, it's going to happen. Amen. Can amen. I get amen? Amen. 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 Can these bones live? It's the same thing. How can it be salt if it has lost its softness? Well, when the bones were dry, good God Almighty. And, and God said, Ezekiel, can these bones live? Ezekiel said, Lord, only you know. He said, prophesy to them. Yeah. Speak to them. And tell them to hear the word of the Lord. That word prophesy means give them a vision yeah. of the future. Yeah. Show them the future. Everybody can't see what you see that's coming. Everybody can't see it to the future. Only thing you can tell them is this is what God is showing us. This is where we're going and we're preparing for it. But everybody can't see. But, but listen, listen. Listen. Don't be, unequally, don't be unequally yoked with unbelievers. Link up your faith with somebody else's faith and watch it happen. Yes. That's right. Amen. 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 I heard a lady say that she linked up her faith with, 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 um, with uh, Brazelton, Cynthia Brazelton. Up in the, up in up in Marlboro Miller, she said she said she linked her faith with her, and then they opened up a business, and right now they're almost billionaires. You gotta link your yeah. faith with people of faith. Don't link your faith with unbelievers and negative people. Amen. Link up with people with like-minded faith that believe in the impossible, even though it don't look possible. Link up with somebody of faith. Link up with Jesus, yes. the author and the finisher of our faith. Yes. And if you link up with Jesus, you're linking up with the Word of yes. God because you can't separate Jesus from the yes. Word of God Amen. because Amen. He is the, the Word of God. Yes. Yes. Amen and amen. That's why we preach faith. We preach that which appears to be impossible. We preach faith. Good God Almighty. In Romans, we preach the word of faith. In Romans 10 and 8, it says the word is near you. Even in your mouth and in your heart, that is the word of faith which we preach. Amen. We preach what the apostles preach. And they preach the word of faith. And the word of faith is a word of confidence. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. We preach confidence in God's promises as it is written. Are y'all all right? Amen. I'm almost done. And we preach. That's why so many people are tuning in. That's why so many people are watching because they need a word of encouragement. They need a word of faith. They need a word that they can do all things and they can do anything but fail That's if right. they're in Christ Amen. and if they're in the word of God. The word of confidence which we preach it says, look in John 15 and verse number 7. This is a word of confidence. This is a word of faith. If you abide in me. Come on, talk back to me. If you abide. This ain't no part time abiding. This is daily. This is hourly. This is every minute. This is every second. If you abide in me. And my words abide in you. You shall ask what you will. That's right. No limit, brother. Amen. Anything. That takes faith. Amen. Yes, it does. See, if you abide in the word, you're gonna ask for God. You're gonna ask God for nothing stupid. Amen. 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 If you abide in the word, you're gonna ask according to his word. Yeah. yeah. Because his word is his will. Mm -hmm. amen. amen. Amen and amen. He said, if you abide in me and my words abide in you, he said, you can ask what you will or desire. It shall be done unto you supernaturally. 
God will begin to bless you with people in your life supernaturally. They'll come out of thin air and say, the Lord told me to bless you. The Lord told me to give you this house. The Lord told me to give you this car. Amen. The Lord told me to give you this money. Amen. Come on, come on. It'll be like supernaturally. I remember one day I was in I was in a town and they hadn't paid me yet. You know, you know, sometimes churches make you wait till the last night <laughs> before they pay you, you know, and I've been there like seven days and I had no money. I said, I'm gonna go to the beach, I'm going to the beach, I'm just walking along the beach and I'm gonna put my feet in the sand, just kick the water. And all of a sudden I'm walking in the beach. I'm in California, y'all. I'm a long way from here. I'm a long way from Texas. I'm a long way from Florida. And I'm walking on the beach. They ain't paid me yet. You know, and I'm saying, man, they'll wait till the last minute to pay me, you know. And, just, <laughs> and so I say, okay, I, I can wait. You know, I can, you know, God said, be patient. I'll be patient. So I go to the beach, take off, I pull up my pants and start walking in the water. And all of a sudden, I see money floating in the water. <laughs> <laughs> I said, wait a minute, that looked like a $20 bill. Oh my God, it's a $100 bill floating over there. Amen. Amen. You know, I ain't kidding about no sharks back then. Amen. No, I'm going to get in this water, I'm going to get this money. Here's a $100 bill, $120 just floating on the water. I just got to talking to God about my money, and here's a $120. Yeah. I'm looking around, see if anybody. Yeah. Yeah. Trying to make sure ain't nobody looking, you know. Maybe, maybe somebody dropped it, you know. And I got $120 yeah. floating on the water. I don't know about y'all. It happened to me. Anybody, yeah. anybody ever found money yeah. like that? Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you what's really deep. You think you broke it, you go and you put on something that you hadn't had on in a while. Yeah. Oh, and all of a sudden you got a roll of money in there. And say, whoa, oh, wait a minute. Yeah. Where this cover happened to me about two weeks ago? I said, man, I ain't wore this coat. I ain't, I ain't wore this coat in five months and... A roll of money. Yeah. <laughs> to me, you may say, it's just a coincidence. It ain't no coincidence when you Amen. need some money. Amen. Amen. It's a gift from God. Yes. And that's yes. what I'm saying. Yes. You know, that's a supernatural blessing. When you're down to nothing and all of a sudden you kick a can and it's full of money. My, my, my wife said, we, we get these deliveries from Amazon. You know, and I forgot that I had ordered something and a box came. I said, boy, that might be a box of money. Yeah. I didn't believe like that, you know. <laughs> my goodness. So things will happen supernaturally for us because the greatness of God. And because of the favor of God yeah. has been handed over to us. Yeah. And this is what the devil fears. Listen to me. I'm going to close. Not going to be long. But I want to thank all of you in Canada, all of you in Mississippi, all of you over in Spirit of Faith that you're not having service today. Maybe Apostle Mike Freeman and Dr. D.B. are listening today. You know, but we thank God for all of you. You have blessed us. You know, we're going to put this on watch party so you can watch it during the weekend. Then we're coming back on Thursday night. We're going to take you a little bit deeper and further. But in the book of Ephesians, chapter number 3, and verse number 20, I want you to get this. It says and that you may come to know through personal experience the love of Christ, which far surpasses knowledge. And that you may be filled up throughout your being with all the fullness of God. Somebody say amen and amen. amen. He amen. said, that, see, Paul is now praying that we, the apostle is now praying that we will come to have a personal experience of the love of Christ. Through, uh, that surpass knowledge. That you may be filled up throughout your being with all the fullness of God. If you are, look. Is it possible that a human being could be filled with all the fullness of God? When God breathed into Adam, Ruah, the breath of God, he was filled with God's fullness. He could have conquered the devil, but he gave in to him. Mm -hmm. Amen, amen. You can be filled. Can you imagine the devil trying to fight you and you are filled with the fullness of God? You better than Papa. Amen. Amen and amen. I'm saying, I'm not making this up. Amen. But my desire, since I've sold out to God, since I've given him all my life yeah. and all my love, yeah. I, and I find I can be filled with the fullness of God, that you may have the richest experience of God's presence in your life. Amen. 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 
No, the best is not coming. The best has come. Yeah, yeah. Amen and amen. The best, I used to say the best is yet to come. I've changed that this week. The yeah. best has arrived. Yes. Amen. Now faith is. Yes. Now it's happening. Yes. Now it's coming right at our footsteps. It is here. Yes. That you make me feel with all the fullness of God, the richest experience of God's presence in your life, completely filled and flooded with God himself. That's the will of God, that you be completely filled and flooded with God himself, and then you take what you have been given and you spread it to other people. Yeah. Yeah. That they may be filled with all the fullness of God. And before you know it, you got a nation of people like that. Yes. Amen. You got a kingdom of people like that. Yes. That are filled with the fullness of God. Yes. That are filled completely and flooded yes. with God Himself. It's in the Bible. If you ain't told a page out. Amen. In Ephesians chapter number 3, 19 and 20 in the Amplified Version, he said that you may be filled yes. up. Throughout your whole being with all the fullness of God, and that you may have the richest experience of God's presence in your life. Completely filled and flooded with God Himself. Amen. How would you be then? You'll be a new creature then. Yeah. You'll have love in your heart. Yes. You have kindness in your heart. Amen. You have compassion in your heart. Amen and amen. You have faith amen. in your heart. Then Paul closes out like this in verse number 20 of Ephesians 3 and Amplified. Now to him who is able to carry out his purpose and to do super abundantly more than all we could dare ask or think indefinitely beyond our greatest prayers hopes, dreams, according to the power that work within us. That power is the power of faith that's working on the inside of us. And he says that nothing will be impossible to you and things will begin to happen supernaturally. It won't be naturally. It'll be beyond your wildest dreams, he says. He said, it will be beyond your wildest dreams. Good God Almighty. It will be super abundantly. He said, it will be infinitely beyond your greatest prayers. He said, things will begin to happen supernaturally because now your set time has come and the richest experience yeah. of God's presence is now available and the only thing you got to do, beloved, is be born again. Yes, only thing you have to do is say, Lord, I did it all my way, but from this, from this day on, I'm doing it your way. And you'll be born again when you do this. Jesus said, except a man be born of water and the spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. Amen. You need Amen. to get the water, the yes. baptism Amen. of Jesus, in Jesus' name, and the Holy Spirit. And I'm telling you, from that day on, your life will change Amen. supernaturally. My life has changed, and we're changing people's lives daily. Amen. God is doing something supernatural at Shabbat Global Ministries headquarters, and he's doing something supernatural all through Canada. Amen. He's doing something supernatural all through Mississippi. We're touching Los Angeles. We're touching, come on, we're touching places I never dreamed it would be touching. We're touching you in Kansas City, Sister Brenda Stacey. We're, 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 we're touching you in St. Louis. God is using this ministry to teach it in a way as the psalm says, time to teach a new way, maybe then they'll listen to what you have to say. Supernatural progress. The richest experience of God's presence. You can have that. You can have that. But you've got to make a choice. You've got to say, I want 
the richest experience of God's presence in my life. And I'm telling you, your life will be changed supernaturally. If you're out there, you know, yay. You need to come to, to the Lord Jesus. Amen. You need to say, I believe his word. I believe the prophecies of Jesus. Uh, in Daniel 7 and 14, I believe the prophecies. I believe. See, God only said believe. They that believe yeah. and are baptized shall be saved. Amen. Only, it don't cost you nothing to believe. Amen. Amen. It doesn't cost you nothing, but you just got to believe. If you want your life turned around, you just got to believe. Amen. Let's have some music back there. Amen. And if you're out here, I want everybody to stand on your feet. If you're out here, amen, and you're ready to give him your life totally. You want to see a supernatural amen. change in your life, amen. I guarantee you. He's not a respecter of a person. It don't matter whether you're rich or poor. It doesn't matter who you are. He will change your life supernaturally if you will give it to him and say, Lord, I'm just going to trust you with amen. me. I'm going to trust you with my life. I'm giving you all of me. I'm going to try this and see if it really worked. The Bible said, taste and see that the Lord is good and he is better than good. Amen. He's great. He's awesome. Amen. And amen. amen. He's beyond anything that you could ever compare to him. I know I'm living the life. Amen. And it's great, beloved. Everybody stand on your feet in this auditorium. And if that's you, beloved. And you say, I'm tired of doing the same routine over and over again. I want to do something different. The best thing that you can do is say, Lord, here I am. Amen. Take Amen. me, use me, renew me, restore me, and I'm yours. Amen? Amen. Amen. If you're here, come. If you're here, come. We have ministers on each side here. Those of you out there. You can, come, you can come to us. Come to us at Shabbat Radio Network. No, Shabbat Radio 1. Shabbat Radio 1. Shabbat Radio 1.com. And you can go there and give us your information. Give us your name. You can go there and we will contact you. Or you can go to Shabbat Radio Network on Facebook. We have a page. You can go there and then we will contact you. But you need to get into this word Amen. Because man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. You need to come and give him your life and turn your life. Let him turn your life around. God bless you. We will be back. Amen. And if you're out there, you're a supporter. You're part of this ministry. You're not here today, but you can go to ShabbatRadio1.com. You can give your tithes, you can give your offering today, and it will come right to the ministry and go right into the ministry's account. Amen. If you're part of this ministry, you're watching us, amen. You can sow your tithes, your offering at ShabbatRadio1.com. Amen. And it will be credited to you and to your account. Amen. In Jesus' amen. name, I am Apostle Jeremiah Cummings. Amen. We're going to already start Christian educational classes next week at 10 o'clock. Christian educational classes next week at 1 o'clock at Shabbat Global Ministry Headquarters. At 10 o'clock. At 10 o'clock. A.M. A.M. 10 o'clock A.M. Christian educational classes. Amen. At 10 a.m. next Sunday. Right. 9 at 920 North, North Kennedy, Kennedy Drive. Drive. If you're in the surrounding area, come on in. Uh, 920 North Kennedy Drive in Kankakee, Illinois. Amen. Next week, Christian educational classes. We have three great ministers Amen. that are going to take over those classes. We love you. We thank you. Thursday night, 7 o'clock Central Standard Time, we will see you then. God bless you. Amen. And amen.